Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Android Authority. Now at the end of last year, Qualcomm unveiled the Snapdragon 855 and this year we're going to see lots of flagship devices using the new processor. Now when those devices come out, of course, we're going to test the performance characteristics, including running benchmarks like Antutu and Geekbench and also Speed Test G. Now while I was at CES in Las Vegas, I was able to test a Snapdragon 855 device and that was the Qualcomm reference device. A device that Qualcomm build so that it can show the capabilities of an 855 smartphone and also help their partners build smartphones as well. And I went to this benchmarking session and I was able to run Speedtest G and Antutu and Geekbench. So if you want to find out what I discovered, please let me explain. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the traditional uh, benchmarks, Geekbench and Antutu and see what results I was able to get from this Qualcomm reference device. So starting off with Geekbench, the current leader for the uh, single core score is the Exynos 9810 with a score of 3300 and the fastest Snapdragon 845 has a speed of around 2400. Now when I performed the testings, I found that the Snapdragon 855 has a score of 3000. 518 that's a massive 46 percent higher than the snapdragon 845 and when it comes to the multi-core test the current leader was the uh, snapdragon 845 with 8850 the closest exynos was with 8500 and the score that the 855 managed was 11198 again a massive 26 percent increase over the snapdragon 845 and when it comes to Antutu, the current fastest device is the Huawei Mate 20 with a score of 306,608. And the fastest Snapdragon 845 phone is the Asus phone with a score of 296,726. And when I tested the Snapdragon 855 using the Qualcomm reference device, it scored 360,444, 17% faster than the fastest Snapdragon 845 device on the market today. I've also got the GFX bench scores, and you'll find those in the article that accompanies this video on the Android Authority website. Now I also had the chance to run Speed Test G, and so what I did is I brought a Note 9 with a Snapdragon 845 in it, and I pitted it against the Qualcomm reference device, ran it side by side. Now the current best speed for Speed Test G is 1 minute and 45 seconds by the Pixel 3. So let's see how the Snapdragon 855 does in Speed Test G. Okay, so we've got the Qualcomm reference device on the left with the Snapdragon 855. We've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 on the right-hand side with the Snapdragon 845. And already we can see that the 855 is going into a clear lead. Now, we are expecting a lot of CPU improvements here in the 855, maybe not so much in the GPU, but this test will tell us how it really is in the real world. And clearly, still the 855 of the lead. Both phones are now into the bloom test, so the 845 is doing a good showing. It's certainly not being completely destroyed here. However, the 855 is clearly in the lead now into the escort look at that on the note 9 it clearly overtook there the uh, reference device in that sql light test now we've seen that on other test runs where some devices can just blast their way through that sql light test and it has now taken the lead over the uh, 855 so the 855 is now having to catch up now will it be able to catch up from that thing and it has it's now got back into the lead it's taken over it's in the 16 thread test so look at that that one test really did make it fall back there but it's dug deep it's been able to carry on and now here we are it's into the unity test already this will really test the gpu and now the note 9 is also going into the unity test it's looking very smooth on the left hand side there this does look like a good solid run by the 855 the 845 is also doing well six arduino 640 versus the adreno 630 let's see which one is going to come out top of course we expect to be the one on the left hand side oh it's blasting now through this scene much much better than actually than the 845 is doing coming down to that final castle scene which can be quite tricky but the 855 is handling it well it's into the compression test and it's tearing its way through that because of that advanced cpu it's going to come to an end any moment now and what have we got one minute and 37.9 seconds so remember the overall time best time is 145 let's see what the galaxy note 9 can do in this test there you go 147.8 so clearly a win there by the reference device 10 seconds faster than the snapdragon 845 in the note 9
And there you have it, a clear win there by the Qualcomm reference device. That makes it the fastest device that's ever run a Speed Test G. And I'm sure this year when we see the flagship devices coming out, they're going to be turning in even better scores as we go through the year. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Android Authority. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Gary Explains channel. And uh, well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.